So I got a comment where one brother said he's getting the NVL DDM KM dot sys error on his laptop whenever he plays WWE 2K19 and it crashes after five to 10 minutes of gameplay. He also mentioned that he tried a few different driver versions on Windows 11 25 H2. Now, the interesting part is he asked, what if he switches back to an older version of Windows? Maybe the issue fixes itself. And honestly, yes and not really. I mean, if the issue started after updating to 25H2, then yeah, there's a big chance reverting Windows back to 23H2 is a better option. But before that, I think we all need to understand why this error even triggers. Don't worry, I'm not gonna throw long theories at you. Instead, I'll show every solution with a short explanation so you get what's happening, which component is acting weird, and how exactly you can fix it. Solution one, RAM. Now, at the start, you might think, RAM? How can a GPU driver crash because of RAM? And the answer is actually simple. NVLDDMKM.sys is the NVIDIA display driver. So whenever the GPU needs something like textures, shaders, buffers, game assets, driver instructions, all of that passes through system RAM before it even touches VRAM. VRAM is basically GPU RAM, by the way. There are three major RAM-related triggers, RAM timings, XMP, mismatched sticks, and even if your RAM feels fine in daily use, gaming loads are different. Drivers talk to the GPU nonstop. One bad memory call and boom, driver fails. And when the driver fails, Windows throws a blue screen or an NVL DDM KM crash. Now look at this post. This guy shared his whole story. In short, he was playing Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and every 10 to 15 minutes, the game crashed. In the event viewer, it showed nvldmkm.sys or random DX12 errors. Someone told him it's a RAM issue. He said he was running DDR5 on XMP at 6,000 megahertz, which was the rated speed. He ran benchmarks and everything was fine, but games still crashed. So he finally turned off XMP. And after that, no crash at all. So before buying new RAM, try this. Take out your RAM, clean it, put it back. If you're using XMP, disable it. If your RAM is cheap or unstable, set the speed manually a little lower. For example, if it's rated at 6,000, try 540 or even 5,000. Next up, mismatch. Each RAM stick has its own speed and timings. If you mix brands, like one Kingston Fury and one local brand, they often conflict. So always use the same sticks. If you're facing crashes, try using just one stick and see if it resolves the issue. And again, this isn't just me. These are real community fixes. People post this stuff all the time. One technical trigger can come from different causes, and I'm covering all the common ones that are proven. So yeah, faulty RAM or mismatched RAM can trigger nvldmkm.sys. Hope you get the point. Now, I know at this stage, some of you might be getting worried, but let me give you some hope. If you're facing these issues after the 25H2 update, then clean your RAM, disable XMP, or lower the speeds manually. Revert Windows back to 23H2 if nothing works. And honestly, Windows 11 has been giving random issues anyway. SSD crashes, GPU overheating, and a bunch of other frustrating stuff. So reverting isn't a bad idea at all. Now let's talk about some possible conflicts. First thing, reinstall your GPU drivers using DDU. DDU stands for Display Driver Uninstaller, and it basically removes the driver from the roots. To download it, just Google 
DDU driver uninstaller. The first site is the official one. I'll also put the link in the description, so don't worry. After downloading, choose NVIDIA from the list, pick the recommended uninstall option, let the PC reboot, and then go to NVIDIA's site and download the latest GRD driver. Reinstall it. I'm not doing it here because I'm not facing any issue right now, and it takes time. No point making the video longer for no reason. Second thing, MSI Afterburner. If you're using Afterburner, open Settings, select your GPU, and uncheck Enable Low Level I.O. Driver. Apply and hit OK. Now, what is Low Level I.O.? Basically, Afterburner has two modes for reading hardware sensors. Windows API mode, safe, basic, low access, low level hardware access, bypasses Windows and talks directly to GPU slash CPU slash VRAM sensors. This second mode is faster and more accurate, but it can cause conflicts, so try disabling it. This is also a community proven fix. Now, why does this matter for laptops? Because he mentioned Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 with an RTX 3050. These laptops use aggressive GPU power management, dynamic boost, shared memory, tighter thermals, and sometimes low-level monitoring interrupts those power cycles, and the NVIDIA driver freaks out. Last thing, enable high-performance power mode in NVIDIA control panel. This one personally helped me on my older PC. Hopefully, all these methods help you solve the issue, and even if not, at least you'll know where the problem is coming from. I'll see you in the next video. Give these a try and drop your feedback. See ya. Bye.